Day eight, using signed numbers. So signed numbers, we're working with integers, so positive and negative numbers. Um, you want to realize that opposites are literally a positive number and its negative number as well. So when we are working with the inverse of numbers, which is we are writing is just the opposite, uh, finding the absolute value, which is just the positive number of the number inside the absolute value bars, graphing the numbers on a number line, um, telling how numbers are the same, how are they different, so on and so forth. So for 11a, we are writing the additive inverse of each number, so the opposite of the number. So the opposite of 15 is negative 15. The opposite of negative 7 and 1 fifth is a positive 7 and 1 fifth. The opposite of 12.38 is negative 12.38, and then the opposite of zero is just zero. Zero doesn't have an opposite, it's neither positive nor negative. For 12, we're finding the absolute value of each number, so remember with these absolute values, the only thing you're doing is taking the positive of the number inside. If the number inside is already positive, it stays positive, and get rid of the absolute value bars. So for 12a, we have the absolute value of negative 23, that's positive 23. For b, we have the absolute value of 16 and 2 thirds, so that's just 16 and 2 thirds. For c, we have the absolute value of negative 41.9, so that's just positive 41.9. And then d is the absolute value of 0, which is just 0. For 13, we're graphing each number on the number line that's given below. For A, we have negative 4, so negative 4 is here. For B, we have 3.2, so it's just going to be just to the right of 3 on that number line. C, we have negative 2 and 7 eighths, which is going to be very close to negative 3. And then positive or, or plus 19 over 10 is the same thing as 1 and 9 tenths, so that's going to be very close to the 2. 14 asks, how are negative 14 and positive 14 the same? How are they different? Well, they are additive inverses of each other, which just means that they have the same number but opposite sign. For 15 says name the integer that is 12 units to the right of negative 5 on the number line. So this is going from negative 5 to the right 12 units. So if we look at our number line, we're starting at this negative 5. We're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 would be 6, uh, 12 would be 7. So that would be positive 7. 16 says name the pair of name a pair of integers located 27 units from 0 on the number line. Well that's going to be a positive 27 and a negative 27. So we could either write 27 comma negative 27 or put this plus or minus sign in front of the 27 to represent both the positive and the negative of the number. For 17 we're finding the value of a negative absolute value of negative 18. Well the absolute value of negative 18 is 18. And if we're multiplying the negative to that 18, it's just negative 18. For your practice from this section, for number 1, it asks the opposite of negative 3 fourths, and that's just positive 3 fourths. 2 asks the number 1.25 written as a quotient of two integers is. The 1.25 is 1 and 1 fourth. For 3, we have the absolute value of negative 105 is just positive 105, so that's D. For 4, it asks what the integer is 5 units to the right of 3 on the number line. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 asks what integer is 7 units to the left of 2 on the number line. You would do 2 minus 7, which would be negative 5. For 6, it asks which number it has the same absolute value of 4.3. Well, that's negative 4.3. For 7, it says the numbers x and negative x are additive inverses. What number is midway between them on a number line? Well, if x and negative x is the two numbers on the, the absolute value, the number directly between them in the middle of them would be 0. 8 asks what number is most likely represented 
at the point P on the number line. Well, this is 0, negative 1. R would be negative 2. This would be negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So this is going to be negative 4 point something, which would be 8, negative 4.7. For 9, it says which point on the number line is most likely representing negative 2 and 5 eighths. Well, negative 2 is here. Negative 2 and 5 eighths would be x. Lastly, 10 says which could be represented as a positive 12. F says the loss of 12 pounds. That's a negative 12. A drop of 12 degrees in temperature would be a negative 12 degrees. A profit of $12, that's adding $12 to something, so H would be our answer, and then the withdrawal of $12 would be subtracting $12 from it.